Hello there, everybody! I'm Mr. Game Pie, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Land 3. Last time we finished up the last of the levels, and this time, we're going to finish the game. Alright, Dee Dee, you get over here and burn. You're a penguin, you should be pretty good at burning. Yeah, as you can see, the fire ability is doing some solid damage against him. This isn't like Dream Land 2, where copy abilities were pretty much useless against the king. No, here, copy abilities are perfectly viable. Alright. But now, he's showing the fact that he's possessed by dark matter. And this isn't like Dream Land 2, where he just got angry at you and got faster. No way. This is way more intense. He's actually, like, mutating and getting extra eyes and all sorts of ridiculous things. And I think he's actually shown off everything that he can do at this point. Yeah, uh, notably, in his first form, he can actually inhale, as is typical for his boss battles. But uh, whenever he inhales you, he'll actually inhale you off of your animal partner. And uh, his hammer can also block the shots that you shoot him at him, so yeah, that can happen. In any case, we've gotten all the hard stars, and so Dark Matter is being exercised from every area of Pop Star. We've made a lot of friends along this journey. Some animal, some block thing, some human, and some whatever else is in the game. Lots of plants, actually. But now it's time to utilize the power of friendship to maximum effect! Oh, also, I guess we need to jump on this star. I guess that's a warp star. I didn't even think about that. We're going into level 6. The Heart of Pop Star. Get it? Because Heart Stars? The Heart of Pop Star? Yeah, it's good. Also, Nago isn't really there for some. Oh, wait, yes, he is. He's on the right. Never mind. Yeah, DD was possessed the entire time! Our true opponent is Dark Matter. And he's starting off much like he was back in uh, Dream Land 2. He's pretty much got the same thing going on, except in Dream Land 2 we had a sword, so we had to mostly just reflect shots back at him. But now, here in this battle, we have a whole launchy feely thing. Whoa, okay, you're just going up right next to me, aren't you? Also, the this is the level of stick, and it kind of like surrounds you whenever you shoot. That said, this is actually my first time fighting this boss, so I might not do all that well. Yeah, this is actually one thing that I've never practiced or done before. Okay, can you... Why are you not dying? Okay, there we go! That's what I was waiting for. But yeah, that's just the first form. That was how he ended his Dreamland 2 battle. Whoa, okay, you're appearing here, okay. But now... Now we have zero. And he's a big guy! Also, he, um... You see, everybody's always been like, Oh yeah, man, Kirby's Dream Land 3, that's definitely an E-rated game. And it's because of this guy. Because you see, what this guy does is he shoots his blood at you. I'm, 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 not, I'm not just making stuff up here. This isn't creepypasta stuff. This is legitimate. He's legitimately going to shoot blood at us. And also, I died. So I'm just, I'm just gonna skip back to that part of the battle again. Alright, so we're back again. And, uh, yeah, he's actually shooting his blood at us now. As I mentioned that he would. But, uh, yeah, I mean... Zero is a pretty important character within the Kirby franchise. This is the middle of the Dark Matter trilogy, and it's actually introducing us to its main antagonist. Zero is the thing that controls Dark Matter. And, uh, yeah, Dark Matter's kind of a major deal throughout the franchise. I mean, Dream Land 3 is the second part of the, of the Dark Matter trilogy, but, uh, that doesn't mean that Dark Matter left the series after the trilogy was over. Which would have been in Kirby 64 to know. No, Dark Matter continues appearing in various forms to this day.
and indeed, it's very possible that Zero may not be truly dead, and also, I can't seem to avoid him walking into me. Not just flying into me. Like, I mean, he can shoot all sorts of projectiles, and it's not really that big of a deal. But the moment that he decides to fly forward? Oh man, now that's that's something that I just can't dodge. Okay, there we go, that wasn't so bad. Oh, that's because he didn't fly all the way across the screen, clearly. Is he, is he done yet? Okay, there we go. Well, except he's not really done yet because this happens! Yeah, he just decided to throw his eye at me and I just died. No! Whoa! Ah, he's too big! I can't dodge him! Okay, here we go, we're back. Oh my gosh, I'm on one hit again. Nope. Okay, there we go, I got a hit. Got another hit. Yeah, I think this is all you really need to do here. Just keep having him circle you. Because uh, his turning radius isn't really all that great. And yours is. And, well, now his eye is just going completely nuts, and he explodes. Yeah, notably, uh, Dreamland 3 was originally rated E because, apparently, the ESRB did not realize that this battle was in the game! And then, well, whenever this game was re-released in the, um, Kirby's Dream Collection, it, it actually, it, it resulted in the whole thing becoming E10 at, overall. So, yeah, that happened. Yeah, notably, uh, there's some question as to Dark Matter's, um, re like, why Dark Matter does what it does exactly. The explanation that I heard originally was that Dark Matter really just wanted friends, but it thought that being friends with somebody meant that, meant controlling everybody's thought and action and thus it went on to possess the denizens of entire planets. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, it, basically Dark Matter's an idiot. However, a, uh, a theory that I've seen popping up throughout the internet, really, is the concept that Dark Matter cannot feel happiness, and thus wants to take over planets to make sure that nobody else can either. That said, I've never seen an official source that has claimed this, and the first time that I saw this was on a YouTube comment. And I think that we know all and I think we all know how accurate those can be at times. <laughs> Meanwhile, the um the the original theory that I mentioned earlier with the whole the, fr oh, the whole friendship thing, I did see an official source that backed that up. I don't have access to it anymore because the internet moves on and that was back in 2008 or 2009 whenever I saw it and the page that had it is no longer available, so... Yeah, that was... That's a thing. <laughs> so what are Dark Matter's actual intentions? What are its goals? What are its... Or what, what are its motivations? Well, I cannot say for 100% certain, certainty these days, but... Personally, I go with the whole friendship concept, because... I don't know. I just think that it's kind of fitting in the Kirby series, and very fitting within th the themes of these games, Kirby's Dream Land 2, 3, and Kirby 64. Because after all, Kirby does work with his friends in these games, whether it's his animal friends in Dream Land 2 or 3, or his other friends in Kirby 64 that I'm sure most people are familiar with because that's a really popular Kirby game. But, and the, and the idea that, you know, the enemy that he's fighting in these games is also trying to fight for friendship, but is just being really stupid about it. I think that that's great. I think that that's a great thematic contrast overall. And it also gives a lot of uh, interesting insight into Gooey, because Gooey is a part of Dark Matter, and he is one of Kirby's best friends. So clearly, I mean, you know, Gooey figured it out, so what's up with the rest of Dark Matter? <laughs> yeah, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3 as a whole is not one of my favorite Kirby games, to be honest. Um, I've had a decent time, you know, making this series and all, but I just find that a lot of the stuff that I really like about the Kirby series 
isn't generally present in this game, or where it is present in this game, it's done in a rather bizarre manner. It's not really a Kirby game that I'm going to be coming back to very often. In fact, this is my first time beating the game 100%, and that, that probably goes on, on to say something in general. I feel like the concept that the game introduced, whether it's the extra animal friends, lots of other characters, uh, you know, Dark Matter and all that, I feel like that's all some really cool stuff. But just the execution of the actual gameplay isn't my favorite. And I think, yep, that's the end. We've brought peace to Dreamland for today, but I think that we all know that that won't last forever. In any case, I'm Mr. Game Pie, and I'll see you next time. Remember to stay sufficiently awesome. Goodbye!